that first Christmas night, it might appear somewhat distant from us. And some may think that this good news of great joy has no bearing or meaning for our present day modern life. What we are celebrating is one of the fundamental beliefs of our faith, which we profess in our creeds, that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. Tonight is indeed a holy night, and in this Eucharist we wish to renew our belief in and our commitment to our Lord Jesus in order to rekindle faith in our hearts and thereby live as true followers of Christ the Lord. Years ago, a survey was conducted in a Western country on the meaning and celebration of Christmas. Honestly speaking, we usually do not believe these polls because how can one or two thousand respondents represent tens or more million people? How can a handful of those questions represent the 50 or more percent of citizens who do not care about these surveys? Because they are not believers, or those who do not know what the survey is about, or what the aim is. Yet we are going to examine this Christmas survey for other reasons. A number of adults were questioned, and each of them was asked a single question. What do you think about Christmas as a religious feast? 26 of the respondents said, said that it is not a working day, but a day off, a vacation and a holiday. 23% of those surveyed saw Christmas as an opportunity to meet family members and friends. 5% said that it is an opportunity for eating and drinking, precisely in these words, eating and drinking. 11% did not know what it is about, neither what they were asking nor what they were to reply. I forgot to mention the journalist's title regarding the survey, which was a large headline written in bold letters, 65% leave Christ out of Christmas. The 65% do not even mention it. For then there is no room for Christ in the celebration of Christmas, which is his nativity or birthday. This is truly a sad thought for one of the happiest days in the liturgical and civic year. Each Christian and every person should stop to think over these results seriously. While it's true that the remaining 35% of the respondents considered Christmas a religious holiday, and Jesus' birthday, the journalist did not point this out in the title or the article, because no one would read the article if it were not sensational, contradictory, and if the more festive nature of Christmas were not prevailing in all matters. Hence, what can we say Christmas is and is not in our lives as believers? First of all, Christmas is not primarily a holiday, a day off from work, a winter vacation, or recreation time. Because there are many more similar days in the year that we take off from work, school, and other professional duties. There are days that are known as national holidays, vacation days, and civic holidays. Secondly, Christmas is not predominantly an opportunity for parents to meet with children, for brothers and sisters to visit each other. There are many opportunities in the year for similar gatherings, such as birthdays, name days, and other family anniversaries, and religious celebrations, like baptisms, first communions, confirmations, and weddings. Thirdly, Christmas is not a special occasion for eating and drinking, because this is done every day, at least three times. Festive food and drink is not just limited to Christmas, because there are many other special occasions during the year, such as arrivals and departures of loved ones from home. What 
therefore is Christmas. Christmas is a Christian holy day, centered on Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God, who became incarnate by the Holy Spirit and was born of the Virgin Mary for us men and for our eternal salvation. We heard the wonderful message of the angel to the shepherds and all of mankind on that first holy Christmas night. Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. He is the Logos the eternal Word of God that became flesh, and He is the meaning of all things. Christmas is a great Christian feast that invites every true believer to examine, not in a public poll or in the news, but within the secret of his or her own heart and conscience, as to how he or she confesses faith in Christ. This is done through an individual confession of sins, by receiving Christ's sacraments, especially by participating in the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass every week, Sunday or Friday, whatever day you do, and on obligatory feasts, not just at Christmas and the Midnight Mass. Christmas is the most appropriate Christian occasion to examine our respect for human life whether individual, family, or national. Life is God's greatest gift to mankind, and each of us will have to give an account of our lives and for every word spoken. This is a gift that God has given to us, which He wants to give in abundance, if we want to live and act according to God's law of life. Christmas is a special occasion, when in the name of Jesus we can look around and beyond ourselves in order to see how we can help others in any way, so that they too can be visited by Christ through our good wishes and gifts, our joy. <coughs> this type of Christmas, full of religious meaning, full of active and life-giving thoughts towards the needy, the sick, and the lonely, we wish for every Christian, in order to share the joy of Christmas with others more deeply and intensely than on the other days of the year. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. On behalf of Pope Francis, who I represent here in this region of the world, I wish to extend my warmest wishes for a blessed and merry Christmas all of you here present. May the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you now and all the days of your life, as you journey through life in union with Him who became a man like us, so that we would have a share in His divinity and be with Him in eternity. Amen.